Today's hunt takes us to Witmos Kloof, just south of a little town called Cradock in South Africa's Eastern Cape. This particular farm is situated amongst the mountains and is home to various livestock animals as well as some exotic game. We are going to be using both the 22 Rimfire and the Air Arms S510 Extra FSE today and shooting some rock hyrax, locally called dussies, for the farm workers to eat. After a long drive into the valley on the quad bike, we set off quietly on foot and creeping close to the animals. Janin gets us started with a well-placed headshot with a 22. Janin, there's another one. Do you see it? Before we even know what's happening, a second Hyrax pops up. Oh, nice, nah, solid. It's another great shot. After the immediate success with the rimfire, we decide to stick with the 22 for the next couple shots. Janin is one of the province's best marksmen having competed at nationals for three position shooting for a number of years in a row. So I know that I can trust him to take good shots. It's also great to have some local knowledge. We walk on and soon come across another dussy. This one is about 50 meters out. We spot a bit of activity on a particularly rocky slope, so we decide to set up on the edge of a drop-off and wait. And our patience is soon rewarded. We almost can't believe it as we see another one pop his head out. There's no activity for a little while, but we decide to be patient and wait it out. We take some time to reload the magazine, and then it's back to action. Now this is probably my favorite shot. It's a clinical headshot, and he just slides right down the rock. Even with the 22 rimfire shooting hollow points, you can't afford to take hard shots. These animals are incredibly tough, and often still have enough energy to run down their holes if you don't take a clean headshot. Then you see him right next to the bush. Oh my goodness, bro, you've got three options. Oh, you nailed it. The valley we're situated in is perfect territory for dussies. We've had good success with the 22 rimfire so far, but it's time for the air rifle to get its chance. This is a high-powered air rifle with surgical accuracy, so I am confident in its ability to pack a real punch. But I am faced with a baptism of fire as a 75 meter shot presents itself in the wind and with a 40 degree decline Got him. and I absolutely nail it so that was a um, 75 meter shot I just uh, ranged it with the rangefinder just beforehand and I allowed for about half a mil dot for a little bit of breeze from the left and I ended up nailing right in the spine so you went straight down and I'm pretty happy with that shot now the next two shots are quite interesting the first shot is a miss and at first I thought I might have pulled it but when the second shot misses as well, I realize it's a simple calculation error. It's a 40 meter shot, and my rifle is zeroed at 25, so it feels wrong to hold under. But in reality, I should be allowing for a half mil dot, or two minute of angle compensation downwards. I make the adjustment, and I don't miss again. Got that one. I found it quite incredible that the sound of the pellet hitting its target is at least twice as loud as the shot itself. That is a real testament to the quietness of this rifle, of both the internal moderator on the Air Arms S510 and the TX585 external moderator. I am absolutely overjoyed at the results of the day's hunt. We decide to call it a day, but not after collecting up all the animals we've shot. Yeah, as you can see, we've just uh, retrieved some of the dust we've just shot. Obviously, we can't always get all of them because some of them fall into holes and whatnot. 
A big problem with these dice is, is that five of these intersect as much as a sheep. So um, if you have a lot of these on your farm, uh, you might have a problem with them contending for the same resources as your sheep farmers. These are also a delicacy here in Cradock. Uh, a lot of the farm workers here love these. Um, they usually either roast them or they boil them. Right, this isn't the whole bunch here. There's a few more we still have to go fetch. But as you can see, we're very lucky today um, to get a whole bunch of them that aren't used to being shot at. Usually you take a shot at one and the rest are gone. Um, today we managed to find a whole bunch that were very unaware of um, the, the rifles and what they do. So honestly one of the most fun hunts I've ever had in my life. Um, I think I just had an absolute blast today. So I just want to say thank you Jonah for having me on your farm. Sure, it's been great. Yeah, we'll see what tomorrow has, eh? Hopefully it'll also be as good as today. I've got a number of really cool hunting videos lined up for the next couple months. So if you want to stay up to date, subscribe to Air Arms Hunting South Africa. Shoot safe, have fun, and I'll see you on the next video.